around 2012. But, <clears throat> you know, if you a young guy from, you know, uh, from Jonesboro, Louisiana, where I think it's only like 1,700 people in population, and you get that type of lead, you you get. I'm, I would have got on the bus too, and he flew back home. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, <clears throat> so yeah, when he touched down, he touched down, and uh, we all met at the studio. Uh, man, I can't remember the studio name, but it's like on 12th and Race or 12th and Vine. Um, the sound garden, I, I believe it was. And uh, we all met there. He was with his man Q. And I also have that footage up on the uh, on the page as well. Um, where uh, Snoop freestyled for Meek for the first time. Like, you know what I mean? So I capture all, all of those things. Like, I, I, I damn near capture all of the steps without even knowing, you know, and present it, you know, to y'all, you know, and... And I'm glad that it's, it's people out there that appreciate, you know, major films and appreciate, you know, um, Meek and, and Snoop and shit like that. So, and I got, you know, I got I got a lot more footage that I haven't released yet, but I'll do that, you know, gradually. But um, the next day, the next couple of days, we was in, we were we was in the studio because this when Meek was locked down in the city for those 30 days when the judge locked them down for those 30 days or whatever we were stuck in the studio so you know Snoop he came in at like you know at a at a at a perfect time like you know what I mean and he got a lot a lot of um the uh his second mixtape he got a lot of that done in those 30 days like uh, we, you know a lot of music got done in within those 30 days which he used for his mixtape and and um a lot of stuff he you know that i heard that he he haven't even released so um that next in that same week you know he battled deshaun jackson artist um and shout out to d jack and um they uh he won the 10 grand. That's when he won the 10 grand. And you can find that, that footage also on the internet. I wasn't there that night because <clears throat> we was just, we was in the studio from, I would say, I would say probably like, like 9 p.m. to about 9 a.m. on a, you know, and then, you know, I'm still, I still got to take care of my business, like, you know, outside of you know, doing, you know, uh, you know, doing business with me. Like, I still got other shit that I got going on. So, you know, I fell asleep that night. And I got a bunch of calls, like, you know, from me, Coon, and everybody that was just like, yo, where you at? You know, we need the camera or whatever. You know, Snoop about the battle, uh, the Sean Jackson artist or whatever. But I was, I was asleep. And, you know, I was salty about that, but you know somebody else caught it, and and, and y'all can find that on on the internet. Um, but from there, uh, you know, from there the rest was kind of like history, man. You know, Meek treated Snoop like a little bro, and um, it was unfortunate that you know he was only with us for like eight months. Like that's you know that shit was that's how legendary his stamp was like that he left because he was only around for eight months you know what i'm saying it was over that quick like you know um the little homie he was special to us man and you know we went on tour and shit like that and with me and him grew a bond like you know i have him with me just running through south philly you know um i took him to a couple spots Whereas though, you know, he can get dressed like South Street, shit like that, like, you know. So I had him with me, but um once he got to the city, like, you know, I made that connection and and and, and made sure, you know, he was connected with me. But once he came to the city, you know, Leem had took him under his wing and kinda like, you know, uh was like taking care of him, like managing him and shit like that, making sure he cool, putting him in hotels and stuff like that, making sure he's safe while him and his man was in the city um but yeah it was just like it was it was eight months 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Damn, I can't really think of nothing. I let y'all on some shit that I never told somebody. You know, I never told anybody like that. Snoop told me. And he was, uh, I had him with me one night. We was riding around in the city, just me and him or whatever. And he was telling me that Baby wanted to sign him. Baby from Cash Money or whatever. And he was thinking about signing a deal. And, you know, I'm like, at the time, like, I was... I ain't gonna front like I was, I was a little not upset, but I was just questioning them like you know if you you are you good here like you know what I mean me laying out all of the biggest platforms and shit you gonna sway in the morning you know you get all of this shit is laid out for you you know what I mean like why you want to do that you know what I'm saying and, and and thinking about it now it was it was it was a business move and and um, I really don't know what uh, kind of business him and Meek had going on at that particular time. But I know Meek, you know, just me at the time, I knew Meek had a lot invested in him, you know what I mean? So it was just like, damn, why are you doing that? Like, you know what I mean? And um, he was like, yeah, man. He was like, Birdman, hit him up. He interested in him, want him to come over, sign with cash money. You know what I mean? Offered him a little bag and all that, but you know, um, that's some shit, you know. I just I kept that to myself, but I, you know, I feel I feel as though I could share that with y'all. Like, you know, I mean, um, me and a, me and a little homie, we had like, you know, we was kind of uh, we was kind of close. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was taking him with me and shit like that. I was, you know, hitting him up. He was, um, he was uh. Like when he was back in his hometown, you know, he hit me up like, "Yo, what's going on in Philly?" Like he loved Philly. Like he wanted to be in Philly. He wanted to. He like, man, I'm gonna get a spot here. He had a couple places he wanted to get a spot. I knew he wanted to get a spot in Houston. He wanted to get a spot in Philly. Like, but you know, Youngin was ambitious. He was, you know, he was hungry. Um, you could just see it. Like the footage speaks for itself. He was a legendary. You know what I mean? And um. You know, it was just an unfortunate situation that happened. Um, and I know, you know, shout out to his mom, Denisha. She's doing something, uh, uh, something special for him, a documentary that they got coming out, I think sometime this year. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, I guess that's it. Like, I'm drawing a blank here. Y'all already know why I'm in that city. I'm in that town, like, you know what I mean? But I just thought I wanted, I just wanted to share some shit with y'all, you know, and um, touch base with y'all. And, you know, more videos coming, more videos like this coming, whereas though, you know, I'm, you know, sharing some, some, some backstories and stuff like that. And I hope y'all enjoy it, you know, keep liking, keep comment, you know, subscribe, share, and let you, tell your folks to subscribe, you know what I mean? The page is growing. Um, like I said, I appreciate y'all and I appreciate those who appreciate me, you know what I mean. Um, hit me in the, uh, in, the, in the in the YouTube community, you know what I'm saying. And also, it's uh, Major Films Two One Five on at, on all platforms. So you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's uh, Major Films Two One Five.